Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Walking Dead where things seem to be a little bit better because we have arrived at this peaceful little farm but it makes me a little bit suspicious because this is too good to be true, right? There has to be something something going wrong soon enough. So yeah, let's look around, maybe talk to Mark again and uh, get his opinion on this. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to look first and then talk to him. Well, let's have a look at the swing over here. I feel a broken swing is our least problem here, but <laughs> let's have a look at it anyway. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> well, we can fix it. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, well, um, I guess that is an option. But yeah, uh, let's see what else we can find here. Can I look at that fence, maybe? No, this is a swing. I can look at the picket fence, though. Hmm, pointy. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay, fair enough. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Uh, been stockpiling, huh? Hmm. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to um, get on the good side for now, right? Um, yeah, tell me more about this fence. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and <laughs> pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, <laughs> I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but... They all work together to do the trick, uh, like us. Okay, but at some point you will run out of fuel, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody is actually refining uh, oil into fuel anymore these days. So, what are you doing once there is no more fuel for your generator? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but... Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go and fix your per perimeter then. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. Well, let's do that. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. 
Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Well, yep, I guess I did. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Well, that one was killed Ugh. by an arrow. Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push it off. Okay. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> well, let's try to remove the zombie. It actually says zombie in the description. Who do you think he was? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. So can we remove it? Yes, we can push the zombie. Looks like he's stuck. <laughs> well, um, what Maybe about the, the arrow? Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Ah, uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, can we try again now? Ah, there we go. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? <laughs> you are far too enthusiastic about this. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food. But the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Hmm. You sure? What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Well, this one almost came over the fence. <laughs> yeah, we need to get rid of those hands, huh? Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Okay, well, I'm going to use the axe. <laughs> and on this one, too. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. <laughs> Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Well, we get some food now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off again. <laughs> I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> okay, um... Little help here, Lee? Well, this zombie looks like it was trying to get out. Interesting. Oh, I need to press Q. Oh, maybe it wasn't trying Holy to get fuck. out. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh, no. Ah! That what is the? no good at all. Get down. Um, Jesus. what is going on? We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. What the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. I see ya. Okay, well, um, what can I do here? Push the tractor. What about that? Oh, well, that's not going to work. Nah. Can't lure me to the open. No chance here. Okay. Shit. 
Oh, I see. Let's remove that thing over here. And now let's try it again. Nope, still not working. Oh, okay, I need to remove that over here too, huh? What are they talking about, though? Come on. If we can reach the gates, we can get through this very and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Okay, well, um... This is an interesting mechanic. Give us the food! I suppose this is going to work. Oh, Mark, though. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Okay. Well. Let's move him. Okay, and we continue. At least they're not trying to attack Another like one? close How range. many of those things did we push down? Okay. Gotta remove this one too. Oh no! Oh no! This one is still alive. Um, I'm going to kick it. I'm going to kick it. Kick it again! And, oh, I have to quick time. I have to quick time. There we go. Ugh. You okay? Yeah. Uh, barely. Come on. The gate's right oh there. Oh no. Oh no. It's following us. Look behind you. Look behind you. Ugh. I don't like this at all. <laughs> well, thank you. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. Maybe you should close the gate behind you. Guys can come in, right? Lee, what's wrong? Uh, well, yeah, it was an ambush. It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. <laughs> well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? <laughs> we ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Hmm. Well? Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. <laughs> These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, yes, sure. That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. <laughs> A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! 
Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Well, at least we got a swing now. <laughs> That's something. Okay, um... I can look around again a bit. I haven't actually looked at all the stuff here, so... Let's do this now. But I knew it was too peaceful. Something had to happen. And sure enough, it They're did. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Well, makes sense to me. I don't want to use a gate at the moment. That thing keeps a fence electrified. <laughs> Indeed. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah, that was good timing. Or bad timing, depending on how you want to look at it. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Hmm. Yeah, I think, like, unsafe tools are definitely the least of our problems at the moment. Oh, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Okay, I looked at this stuff. Um, can I actually talk to the guys over here? Oh, I think they they are beyond the gate, right? All right. In that case, I may actually want to open the gate. And see what they're doing over here. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Um, can I go up here? Alright. Uh, well, I can't actually talk to Larry. That's good. I don't really feel like talking to that guy. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. <sighs> How could you all bring us to this place? Well, um... Is it really so much worse than the motor in? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess so. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. That's actually a very diplomatic way to phrase this. Hey. Um... Yeah, you don't like that we left the motor in? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Well, but some other bad stuff could have happened, I guess. And, yeah, what about him? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. What does that mean? Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. <laughs> he's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Well, I can understand that. However, 
I'm pretty sure that everyone here has lost a lot, and you don't see the rest of the people turning into assholes because of it. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner, and then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking <laughs> your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. You don't really know what you want, do you? One moment you say, oh, we should stay here, it's great, and then you're like, well, why did you bring us here? I think you're just trying to be contrarian, right? Just trying to oppose me. Anyway, um, that was stuff I could look at here. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yeah, I guess having a farm is probably your best bet in a situation like this, huh? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Hmm. In the barn, you mean? Okay. Lots of hay. <laughs> yeah, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Okay. And that seems to be all over here. Okay, uh, I guess we're going back for the gate. And maybe we can find Clementine and Duck. They wanted to play on the swing, right? So let's go over here. Yep, they are swinging. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Yeah, sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. So, Clementine, how are you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. <laughs> Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Okay, well, that's one way to look at it. So, what do you think of this place? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, well... I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Probably not, but let's not be overly pessimistic here. We are safe here, well, I hope. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. <laughs> of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> okay, and now Duck is on the swing again. Um, Let's talk to Kenny as well. Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. So, how are you doing? How are you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Hmm. Well, let's see. 
Yeah, Lily doesn't seem to like this place. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Mm. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Well, yeah, I decided to come here, so of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. <laughs> and, yeah, let's talk about your family. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Right, I'm supposed to look for those bandits. Um, but before I do that, um, let's check in with these people too. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Um, I guess I have looked at everything here, so sure, let's go. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves <laughs> killed. Good point. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Okay, let's hunt some bandits. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? <laughs> I thought we were only going to do some scouting and reconnaissance. Okay, well, sneak up to the camp. All right. How would I do that without getting noticed? Well, I really can only move forward, so... I guess that's what I'm going to do. You see anybody? No, but stay on guard anyway. Stay on your guard! Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Could be a trap. Another ambush. Of course, clear. Empty. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Okay, well, um, I see a bunch of stuff. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Soup Express. Alphabet soup. So, they have some... food supplies here. Or, had anyway. Nothing but fuels. 
Shit. Okay, that's not going to help us. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Yeah, what is this stuff? Safe lots box. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Hmm. Apparently not. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. So, have I looked at all of them? Ooh, there's more stuff. A dairy box. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh, well, that's quite a bit of food. Um, but it doesn't seem like I can investigate this any further or take any of that food. Okay, um, let's move on. What else do we got here? The tent. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. <laughs> looks like they expected to be here a while. And we have more nondescript boxes. Empty. Camera? Well, that's interesting. What do you find? A video camera. L let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. <laughs> what else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. I guess so. I would like to examine that camera a bit more. Because that guy's reaction to the camera was a bit weird. Anyway, let's have a look at the crate too. Nothing. Of course, nothing. Um, and what about the cattle? Just water. <laughs> so they definitely are very low on food as well, huh? Yuck, I don't need that. So... Is there anything that I have not looked at so far? I have looked at the bottles, Empty. have I not? But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Yeah, I have looked recently. at the bottles. Um, yeah, I don't really find anything of interest here. So maybe we should just move out again, huh? Where are you? Where did you go to? Is there anything that I have missed? Or anywhere where I can go? Where did the guy go to? I'm confused. Okay, so we can have a closer look at the tent. The hell? Don't you fucking move! Oh shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we okay. had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. 
And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything oh, from me. Why you? We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Yeah, where take did a little you get girl. The hat? It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. She seems a little bit unstable. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. <laughs> yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. <laughs> Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. <laughs> tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. Ooh. Well. She seemed a bit crazy, but that was probably unnecessary. God damn it! Why did you do that? You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Well. <sighs> I don't know. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, <laughs> what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. <laughs> but apparently she wasn't one of the bandits. And again, she wasn't very coherent, so... I'm not sure if I can take everything she said at face value. <laughs> well, that just happened. But how did she get Clementine's head? When? That is kind of weird. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. Yeah, I don't think this is the end of it. That was just one crazy woman. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm oh, down, no. princess. I'll do it myself. Why are you fighting again? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, <laughs> huh? Yeah, sadly. Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay, well, I'm glad that worked out for you. Well, I'm back. I got lucky. And right, I have I have your head again. Maybe I should give Clementine the head. All right, so I'm back here. Um and well, we murdered a woman. Oh, well, that guy murdered a woman. 
then again, she was kind of crazy, right? <laughs> but um, I think this is actually a good time to end the episode, and we will continue this in the next one. I guess I'm going to talk to Clementine and give her back her head, and then we will see what happens. Possibly something bad, right? So, as usual, thank you for watching, and see you again next time. Thank you.